Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with Cassandra Clementi from Home and Away. You play Maddie, yeah, Cassandra? I do. Where did you come from? I, I bet you just didn't just appear at Home and Away. There was a bit of work there, or were you just lucky, fell into it, whatever? Um, Tell us the hard story. I started when I was about... I started acting school, like 16, in South Australia, which is where I'm from, and then um, moved to Melbourne when I finished high school and got a job on Underbelly. Oh, cool. Did that. And then I actually went overseas. I did a series in um, Atlanta, Georgia. Wow, that would have been cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was a whole different world for me, obviously. I was quite young and fresh out of school. And then I did a couple of films over in the States as well. And I booked this actually from over there in LA. I sent an audition through as a tape and got it and flew back within about a week. So that's yeah. it, I'm going to be over here. Yeah. Home and away. Yep. So tell me about the bay. Behind the scenes, it looks like everyone's pretty tight, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's really nice going into a cast that is just filled with so many people. Like, we've got a main cast of in excess of 20 people, which is, right. which is, which is really crazy for a main cast ensemble of a show. But everyone gets along really well. If you were out there and, you were, and someone wanted to aspire to be you, be a professional actor, what, what would you tell them to do? What, what kind of hint would you give them? Just follow your dreams. Like, I know that's cliche and everybody says it, but if you've got something that you want to do and something you want to be, if that's being an actress, if it's being whatever it's going to be in life, then know that it's not going to be easy. <laughs> From here, this is yeah. where I get to ask the nitty gritty questions. Are okay. you ready? Do the Santa Fast Five. Get it in the thought zone. First car you ever owned. Still the car that I own now, it's a Toyota Yaris. What is your opinion of the worst car? You know when you drive along and you, there's a car oh. and you're like, I never want to get what in that? that car. Those cube cars. Smart cars. Is that a smart car? People. They're the flat back and the, smart it actually cars. looks like a, yeah, what, yeah, it's not smart. No, not really. I think we move on though to the next one. What is, yeah. you're driving along, you see a car and you go, I want that car, what's that? Oh. I have a big dog. And I've needed lately to put her in the back of my car, and she's really growing out of my Yaris. So anything that has good of, food space, what kind of dog? I have a pony, a miniature pony that I ride around. What is it, a great dad? She's a Groodle. Wow, they are half a dog. golden retriever, half standard poodle. She's the love of my life. <laughs> okay. And um, you've already answered the car you currently drive now, yes. so you drive the same one. So it's on to the last personal question, which is, what is your biggest fear? You know what I've always been kind of scared of? I don't like popping champagne, not this is my biggest fear, but popping champagne bottles and bursting balloons. And yesterday on Telethon, Kelly and I did a segment where we sat on balloons and popped them with our own butts. So I feel like I really got through something yesterday. Did you win? Did you win? I won! So, you are an awesome chick. You're really down to earth. You're very, very beautiful. Oh. But what I think people I at home would on. agree, <laughs> but you can see through here, which is lovely. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Very You're much. awesome. You are awesome too.